whatever she said. It's whatever she said. Welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another video. And today, y'all, I have another wig that I will be showing y'all. This one was sent to me from Hair Spell. So, of course, y'all know I have to give them a huge shout out for sending me this unit. Thank you very much. It is highly appreciated. So, um, let's just get into it, y'all. So, right now, I'm showing y'all the inside of the wig. As y'all can see, we have several combs in this unit with the adjustable draw straps included, of course. So, Hair Spells states that this is a virgin human hair. This is Brazilian, the one that I have. Um, this one is 130% density. It is 20 inches. Mine, of course, is 20 inches. But, of course, you have all type of different options to choose from. But, yeah, I'm just giving y'all a close up of what the hairline is looking like. This one is not plucked at all, y'all. So, we are going to have to put in a little work with this one. Yeah. Yeah definitely gonna have to do a little plucking because it's really really thick so right now I'm giving you all a close-up of what it's looking like take note that you can only pluck this one along the hairline the forehead portion of this wig uh, we can't go on the side because there isn't enough lace on the edges so only in the middle part of the wig y'all so so plucking along the edges are non-negotiable because if you do try that you will run into the track so that's not cool so yeah it's not one of the things i like about this wig that's a negative in my opinion but we still can make the wig look nice just by plucking along the front of the hairline as you would see in my opinion um but anyway good news y'all i just want to let y'all know that we have a coupon code so um definitely use it it is phoebe you will get ten dollars off your order anything more than $50 if you spend. So if you spend $50, you get $10 off. Just don't forget to use the coupon code. Yeah, I get nothing from this. Um, this is strictly for you. So yeah, go ahead and take advantage of that. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna go in and finish styling this wig up. Just continue on watching and we will talk about her at the end of the video. Okay, y'all, so let's talk about this particular wig. I am definitely feeling beach vibes, y'all. I'm feeling like I should be on the beach with somebody's margarita in my hand and just relaxing. So, yes, definitely feeling this one, but of course, Y'all know I have good things and I have a few cons, you know, so yeah, let's just get into all the pros first. Obviously, this curl pattern, y'all, is everything. I am loving the way the curls are looking on this one. It's just so pretty. I'm loving it. I mean, super sexy curls, y'all. I look like I have been dipped in some water and just walked out. But anyway, yeah, definitely loving the curl pattern on this one. The way she's feeling, she's really, really soft. Loving the way she's feeling, y'all. So, as for the density, even though this one is only 130% density, I was pleasantly surprised with the amount of hair that's on this wig. I was a little afraid, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, she looking a little bit thin, and we don't like thin. But, of course, this is a curly type of wig, wavy type of wig, so it does look really, really good. Even when I put water on it and a little bit of mousse to um, make my curls look really, really popping, it looks really, really nice, y'all. So, density is perfect. Loving the inches on this one. This one is 20 inches and definitely a plus for me. So, as for tangling, I haven't gotten any tangling, but of course, y'all saw me go in and pluck the hairline, which is a negative, but I'll get, that, get to that in a minute. Um, yeah, I did get some shedding, but it could be, and I'm pretty sure it is because I plucked this unit. I tried my best to get this hairline to look a little bit better, as y'all can see. Now, I think I did a, a pretty decent job. I could have went in a little bit more, but of course, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm not even the type of girl who likes to go in. I don't think nobody likes to go pluck a hairline, but y'all, that is like one of my worst fears. I hate <laughs> plucking the hairline, but... Sometimes it's just necessary for us to go in and do it, y'all. So, yeah. And another plus, y'all, this is for my wig base like me. 
who do not like to go in and put a whole bunch of glue and got to be all over your hairline this one is for you this is for us y'all because yeah i did not even though i could go in and you could if you want to you go you can go in and you can glue this down you necessarily really don't have to there is no need unless you just want to be extra because i did not glue this down and really you can't even tell that it's not glued down with the way i have my hair situated i don't think you have to do it y'all with this wig so it's definitely a big pro in my opinion as for my cons obviously like i told y'all the hairline we have to go in and we have to do some plucking y'all i had to take a good bit of hair out of this hairline and yeah that's definitely a negative for me even though i have to um you know point out that the company did not claim to a pre-plucked hairline so that's just my personal um thoughts on the hairline and another negative is the fact that on the sides like i told y'all earlier um you cannot even really go in and do too much plucking when it comes to the sides of the hairline mostly only right here which i did pluck a lot out of here but very very barely touch the sides because if you do go in you know pluck too much you're going to end up exposing the tracks in the cap and you don't want that so yeah that's my two negatives that's really my only two negatives so um other than that i really like the wig y'all it's super cute i think if you are looking for something affordable so let's get into this price y'all it definitely does go by the inches that you pick out um, across the board is 130% so it starts off with the option of getting a 10 inch which is $84 and some change all the way up to 24 inches and that would be $202 which I think is super affordable for inches y'all so if you're looking for something affordable I think it's a good deal y'all I mean because this one right here 20 inches mine is $160 and for 20 inches a human hair wig definitely nice Oh, and you also can pick out what type of hair you want. You can choose from Brazilian, Indian, Cambodian, Eurasian, and I think Peruvian if I hadn't said it, but it's five different hair textures that you can pick out. Hopefully I didn't miss any, but yeah. I will leave the link in the description box for this particular hair and of course directly to the site just in case you want to browse around, but yes. This is super cute. Of course, you already know my thoughts. I want to know yours. So definitely leave a comment in the comment section below so we can have a conversation. And of course, I'm going to end this video. Please like, subscribe, and of course, leave the comment. I will see y'all in my next video.